Okay guys, so I have very bad news. Oh yeah. <laughs> Waste your laundry. Ariana, do you hate it? Okay, so we just finished some laundry. Morning, Let's go. Very bad news. All my files got corrupted, so I lost a lot of my last video. <laughs> so we're gonna start fresh. What can you do? Um, I'm here at the ice bath. Tabo, gonna shower. It's how you do it Filipino style. I just finished. I just finished a run. Um, did like five miles, like eight or nine kilometers, and now we're going to ice bath. Hi. Hi. Let's go. Dorian! Yeah, I can smell it. I actually love Dorian. Yeah, this is my favorite. Me too, I love it. Dorian, or do you hate it? Ooh. I don't like to get the hair in here because the chlorine is not good for that. And usually what I like to do is just set my timer like this and then I go like this because it distracts me and I don't even notice that 10 minutes has gone by. Got the bucket. We're going to now do the face. <laughs> the bucket on my head because I don't like to put my head in the ice bath because there's chlorine and it's bad for your hair. Alright guys, I'm going now to the gym. I have a class. I have a class from 8.30 to 9.30. Pretty much almost every day I have a class 8.30 to 9.30, except Sunday. Um, oh my god, you see this thing right here? What is that? It's a sun. Suga. It's been hiding for a lot lately, raining. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I hope it stays. I need a tan, I'm getting, my true colors are showing. Morning today, we're at CrossFit Shark Gal. Um, yeah, this is the only morning class I do here. I do more of the nights and mornings at Tell High. <laughs> hey, Archie. Everyone's favorite burpees. <laughs> this one's actually, this is nasty. Okay guys, so I really want a buko. I'm gonna ask the neighbors if they have a machete. Okay, we've got two. Oh, John machete for, for this. Yay, salama. Hi. Got some more your buko juice? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi! <clears throat> yes, please. There's more if you want. Do you want? Okay. <laughs> we got our buffalo juice and now we're gonna coach.
guys, I'm just currently doing some laundry. Um, I do my own laundry. Something I learned here. All right, let's go. Laundry time. Okay, so we just finished some laundry. Um, I'm gonna go hang it upstairs where it's covered. Yeah, so sometimes in the rainy season, it's you know hard to do laundry because it's raining <laughs> so it doesn't dry fast the the clothes so i have to hang it up here where there's no rain because if i leave it outside i'm gonna leave and then five minutes later it's gonna start raining and y'all and then you just did laundry for nothing i can't tell you how many times that i have left laundry out here and then um, it gets rained on up here so it will dry because I can't really leave it outside because it will get rained on and then you just waste your laundry so everybody's always so surprised that I do my own laundry but it saves money and I don't really find it that if I have the time why not it is done TBH I'm short on time and I'm leaving tomorrow for Two weeks is the longest I've ever left the island, um, so I needed some stuff for it. Laundry is done. While it's drying, I'm gonna go to the gym, do a little workout. Just got to the gym. You know, I just had a random thought I thought I'd share, cause like I was like, oh, parking here. You know, you just park where you find space. There's no rules. I remember back where I used to live. If you didn't park perfectly, like if you park, there was, you know, lines like a parking space. If you parked on the freaking line, you would, they would either tow your car or you get a ticket and they like put a sticker that was so hard to get off on your window. Like one of the million things I don't miss about living in the United States. Sidargo. So Sidargo is for Tuesdays and then usually people at Barrel, um, Tuesdays is trivia night but I don't really, I barely go to that because um, I coach two classes and I'm always tired and like to take a rest if I really decide to go out. So um, I'm a little late but I'll still stop by Barrel, play maybe like a game of pool and then go to Sidargo. Let's go! Right, I'm going now. Um, I really hope it doesn't rain. But the good thing about Sadargo is it's literally, whoop, it's, it's literally like one minute drive from my house. So if it's lame, guess what? I go home and I sleep early. <laughs> Here at Barrel, and I just met. Hi, I'm Shane. It's, I meet Brianna on Facebook. I saw her three days ago, and then I said, wish I can meet her in Chicago. And now I. Just, Unexpectedly, I met her mm. in a trivia. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs>
it, guys. We're gonna go home now. It's yes. like 11, 10. Oh, shoot, what time is it? Is it 11, 11? Did we miss it? No, no, it's 11, 12. We missed More than truth. More than truth. More than truth. <laughs> We're gonna go home. Good night. Yes, yes. I'm gonna say goodbye to my one and only <laughs> Mia Moore. This was Sunday at the bridge, Katangnan Bridge, Barbie's ice cream. I had this local family, about 20, who came and all bought ice cream. It was a little bit kind of towards the end, um, so I ended up selling out, and it was a really, really amazing day. I got to meet so many new people. I started Barbie's ice cream last May, so it's already coming up on almost one year. So I have to think about what I want to do to celebrate uh, this day because it's really crazy that this just started with a silly idea of me like potentially selling some well, a food cart or doing something, selling at the bridge, and then turn into an ice cream. I'll explain the story maybe in another uh, another episode. But just crazy how like a stupid idea, a silly idea in my head like turned into this big thing and I'm able to interact with, with you guys every day and be a part of the community because Shargao, Shargao is a really special place for me and the reason why I love it there, number one, is the people. The people are just so amazing, the locals. Um, we've just learned a lot from them and I really, really appreciate their culture. Uh, Filipino culture in general. Like the whole family. It's what makes me feel so connected to the island, being connected to the locals, and I've never really felt this anywhere else. And every time I leave, it's just, it's not the same feeling. The amount of things that I have learned living in Chargao, the school can never teach me. And just the quality of life, it's, it's just so different here.